Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I've got an unboxing for us today. We've got a few of these actually going on. Uh, some cool stuff that I want to show you guys. This one in particular is from Oxford. You guys are familiar with it at this point. Oxford finishes. They're based in Ontario. They currently ship to Canada only, but they will be shipping to the States very soon. So uh, I'm told that is in the works. It's just a matter of kind of dealing with the current border issues for COVID-19. So you guys have heard me say all this before. Today we're unboxing some new stuff from them. Some metallics in particular is what I think I have here. And we're going to do some cool demos on that because metallics present their own specific challenges. As a lot of you know, in terms of sanding and what you can and cannot do uh, without screwing up the metallic. So that's what's probably going to be in here. Let's take a look. If you guys are interested in picking up anything from Oxford, the link will be in the description. And as always, I would appreciate it if, if you're buying something, when you go to the end, they say, let us know how you heard about us. If you put my name in there, it helps me out and it'll help me kind of continue working with these guys. So that would be great if you could do that. Um, but you of course don't have to. I still recommend the paint one way or another. It has been great to work with so far. So let's take a look at what they sent me this time. All right, obligatory camera angle change complete. Pointless box opening scene complete. Let's get to the fun part. Man, they really, <laughs> they really package stuff carefully at <laughs> this place, at least when they're sending it to me. I love that. Ugh. It also uh, prolongs the surprise because I can't, by opening this, tell what they've sent me. So I guess Christmas came early this year. I hear that they have more options for nozzles now. Apparently they're gonna have a fan cap and a cone cap. And I suppose you may be wondering, why would we want a cone cap? Well, the answer is, Bursts, stuff like bursts, uh, spray art, if you're doing anything like that, you're gonna want a cone cap. He sent me some more white primer as well. This stuff is fast, high build, very opaque, uh, great for setting a nice white base on something, but you need to shake the heck out of it. Because it's so high solids, shake well, that's no joke. Give those a good shake. I need some coffee just thinking about it. Worth it though, worth, worth the little extra shaking. Uh, a lot like a 2K, you need to get things mixed up in there. There's no activator, of course, but there's a ton of particulate, a ton of solids. Not particulate, sorry. But uh, yeah, the solids need to be mixed in well. Hopefully you guys can hear me over all this paper. That's gonna be interesting cleaning that up. Lake Placid Blue, classic. One thing that these guys are known for, uh, even though they're a relatively new company. Vintage formula lacquer, vintage colors. They're making a foray into some more interesting colors here. Oh, this isn't a spray can. And these more interesting colors are gonna, you know, include all these metallics and stuff. So I shouldn't say that vintage isn't interesting. That's not what I meant, but that's what they kind of started with. And now they're, they're increasing their offering. So we've got some vintage amber here. Great for people who want to do, you know, an aged finish that doesn't have to take time to age even though you can age nitrocellulose lacquer pretty easily. So that's, that's good for that. It's also great for obviously an amber paint job or something along the lines of a burst. Red mahogany, also great for a burst. Let's see what else we've got. I hope I've got, honestly, I know we all love spray cans, but I hope there are a bunch of these because I love working with this kind of stuff. And these are ready to spray, very easy to use. I think that's what I have here too. I asked for more of this kind of thing. Nectarine, okay. Tobacco brown. So vintage amber, nectarine, tobacco brown. These are your classic kind of, like you can do a really nice sunburst with that sort of thing. So I'll stack this back up for symmetry. Let's see what else we've got in here. Well, that's a bigger can. Is this a, right? I have a, a quart of something. Oh, hopefully one that's not leaking. Oh, it looks like this one sprung a bit of a leak. Got dented a little bit on the way here. I think this is just clear. Yeah, clear gloss. So I am going to show you guys that you can kind of mix your own stuff. I know clear gloss seems like I would just use it for clear coating, but lacquer is very simple to mix and that sort of thing. So with this clear gloss, it opened a bit. Assuming I don't have any problems from it opening a bit, um, 
I'm going to demonstrate mixing some, some of your own kind of sparkly clears and stuff like that with that. I know there have been some requests for that, so that's going to be really interesting and a lot of fun. Or are these the touch-up pens? So these guys have lacquer touch-up pens too, apparently, for fixing problems for those of you who don't have airbrushes. I'm hoping that's what this is. Oh my god. Tobacco brown. You could also do artwork with this, I suppose. Uh, I think they're going to be kind of felt tipped. This is a very cold pen for some reason. Yeah, so you have to kind of like pump it. Um, you could do artwork with these, I suppose, but what they're generally intended for is touch up work, fixing things and nicks in the corners of your, your bursts and stuff like that. You've got a gloss pen as well, just a clear, which is good for the same thing. All right, we are not done yet. That's paper. Another spray can. Interesting, like lots of burst stuff so far. Very interested in, in showing you guys how to do that with lacquer because it's fun. Uh, not much in the way of metallic, so let's see here. Ah, perfect timing. Royal purple metallic. I, I really want to see what this looks like immediately, but we'll wait. We'll wait and do a metallics tutorial. I've also, I've got to test out all these colors, so that'll be fun. Cordovan. Cordovan nitrocellulose lacquer. I don't know what that means. Cordovan? Who knows what that is? I could look it up and pretend I knew all along, but I don't, so I won't. A little sanding sealer. All right, last one. Feels like a spray can. White primer. All right. So, we're going to have to do a tutorial on the royal purple, of course. I just needed some white primer and, and gloss clear, so they helped me out with that. We'll do a mixing tutorial on the gloss clear in the quart here. We'll play around with the touch-up pens. I will figure out what Cordovan is. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to have to do a burst. Fun times. All right, guys. So big thank you to Oxford for sending this stuff along. I am very excited to get to work using it. I've got some cool projects coming up that I think are going to be real fun for this stuff, probably right after the great guitar build-off is done. And yeah, we'll... We'll have some fun. This in particular, I have, you, you can get mica powders, you can get sparkles, you can get all sorts of stuff that you can mix into a clear um, if you've got a spray gun. So, or even a preval unit maybe, I don't know. I've never used one, but I've heard a lot about them. So we've got lots of fun stuff coming up on this. Again, if you are at all interested in picking up some Oxford, check out the link in the description. Feel free to put my name in there under the how you heard about us part. That helps me out if you do. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you're protecting yourself if you're using this stuff, though. It is, well, it's nitrocellulose lacquer. So it's fun. It's easy to repair. It's pretty. But it is nothing short of disgusting. So it smells horrible, as I've said before, like instant cancer. And uh, it'll get you. Make sure you're wearing a mask. Make sure it's not a dust mask. You need something with a, a fume protector on it. If you are looking for something like that, you can use a half mask. If you're in a well-ventilated area, that can work. Uh, better option is a full face mask like this. And then of course, the best option is an air fed mask, but these aren't a high isocyanate 2K. So something like this should serve you just fine as far as I know, I'm no safety expert, but if you are looking for a half mask or a full face mask like this, I have them in the Amazon link in the description. You can check them out there if you want. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't worry, we will start playing and having fun with this stuff soon, I can't wait. If you did like the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Helps me out. And remember to subscribe so you can see what we do with this stuff. As always, have a good one. I'll see you next time.